Hello and welcome to New Parenting Training. So today we got two products sent to us from Kawa. Those are baby monitors. One is S5, the other is S7. Now both of these can be recorded in 2K resolution, uh, but one is more of a fixed monitor, but the other one is more of you can control rotation of it. And also the screen size of each one of them are a little bit different. So today I am going to unbox this two and then go try them out and see what the pros and cons of each one of them are. All right, first I'm gonna unbox this S5. So here is the screen, here is the camera. It's very small. Here is the USB cable, a charger, user manual, more charger. So I think one is for the camera, the other one is to recharge the screen. This one is a USB-C cable, wall anchors and screw. Here is a drilling guy if you want to put the uh, camera onto a wall. And that's it. Alright, now onto the S7. Yo, oh, this is much cuter than the S5. Uh, yeah, it looks like a bear. Looks pretty cool. This one is a five inch screen. Here are all the accessory. A plate if you want to put it on top of a wall. USB-C cable and a charger. Manual instruction, USB cable and a charger. And lastly, this is a uh, guide for you to drill onto the wall if you need to. And here is uh, wall anchor and screws. All right, so here are the products. Uh, this is S5, this is S7. And let me go read up the instruction and then go try them out. All right, so let's talk about some of the exterior differences and the similarity. Now, here are the stuff that for S7 and here are the stuff for S5. Now, as you can see, the similar stuff are the uh, charger. Both of these provide you with two different charger, one's for camera, one's for monitor, so it's easy to distinguish which one to plug into where. And the same goes for S7. Now, another similarity is the fact that uh, both of these are doing the 2K resolution. All right, so interesting enough, I have reviewed quite a bit of Wi-Fi based baby monitor system with a screen. This is the only set of camera where I can actually insert SD card to record photos or videos. The memory range from 16 to 128 gig. That's the range you can take. All right, so let's insert the SD card for the S5 is down under. So, All right, so for the S7, it's also underneath the camera, but in this case, you have to actually physically push it up and let's insert this. Now let's talk about some of the big difference. Obviously for the S5, the camera is fixed. I mean, you can only move up and down. It's not mechanical. As far as for the monitor, it's 2.8 inch LCD screen. Now what's so cool about this, it's really easy for it to stand up and it has a handle. Also on the back, there's a clipper. So this can actually clip onto your pants. If you are doing chores around the house, this is super easy for you to carry. All right, so let's talk about the S7. Same with S5, it has an antenna, but this actually has a temperature gauge on the rear as well. So this can detect what's the temperature inside the room at any moment. The camera itself is, you can rotate, and so you can cover 360. The camera can move up and down. This is all mechanical, so you can control it via the monitor. And the bracket, that it goes on to, you can actually set this against the corner of two walls. So it's very secure in terms of putting this thing on. On the back of the plate, you can actually route the access cable around. So there you have a little bit of cable management here. For the monitor, this is a five inch LCD screen and there's a kickstand on the back. Now I have the two cameras set up side by side. 
here's the S7, this is the S5. As you can see, obviously S5 has a little smaller screen, so you're not going to be able to see a whole lot more detail than the S7. But they both are in 2K resolution. Now as far as for the S7, because there's mechanical rotation here, so you can control the camera via the monitor here, so it's quite useful. And then you can also zoom in. There's a zoom in button on the side. Now, as you can see, 2K resolution in action. Look at this. There's a whole lot more detail than if you are using a 1080p uh, camera or monitor. So anyway, press again and zoom out. As far as for the S5, you can only adjust the camera manually. So there's nothing you can really control here. However, you can zoom in. Now, once you zoom in, because it's zooming in the picture, then you can semi control where you want to look at. Just be mindful that the physical camera itself is not moving. It's just the picture you are zooming in a certain area. Now press again and back to the original uh, picture that you are picking up. Now for S7, here is a temperature gauge. Currently it's at 79 Fahrenheit. All right, so now let's talk about the manual. The manual uh, for the S7, you have the manual button, and for the S5, you have it right here. Now, all the manual selection are the same, but in different order. So you have here the monitor mode, the alert, and then here's the camera setting. So it's in a different position. Clock mode, reminder, clock reminder is here, and then lullaby and more setting. Let's talk about the monitor mode. So monitor mode, now both of this have a box mode, box threshold, and the audio only. Now box mode is really useful. So what it does is uh, once your monitor is off, and if it's pick up, well, you have to set the uh, box threshold. If you set it to a certain limit, then once that limit is being reached, then the screen will turn on to indicate there's some movement over on the other end of the camera. The audio only mode, when the box threshold is reached, it, the screen will not turn on, but there will be audio that coming through. So uh, if you decide to save battery life, then you might want to set the audio only. The threshold, so there are five different settings Like I can demonstrate really quickly. All right, so the screens are off. Let me go show you how this thing works. Works really well. When there's noise or movement, then the screen will light up and then it will give you an alert regarding what's going on. Now, another thing about the alert, you can see here, now sound alert, alert duration, alert volume. So you can uh, set this up as far as how high the sensitivity is going to be, how long the duration that the alert you want to be, and the alert volume. The S5 does not have any temperature gauge. On the S7 it does, so it allows you to set different alert system regarding the temperature. So it then will give you a notification if it's the temperature is too high or if it's too low. Otherwise, everything else is pretty much the same. Alert duration, alert volume. They have lullaby uh, where you can play music on the other end and the white noise on the monitor here. Now, clock reminder. Now, this is another feature that I find really useful for the new parents. Now, with this clock reminder, is basically setting up a, a clock system. You can set either one and a half hour. Every one and a half hour, it will alert you. Or you can actually set a time, uh, like what time you want. You can set it to a different hour as you want. So, same with this here. And also, you have the diaper change same deal all right so let's talk about the camera setting here the each monitor can pair up to four different cameras so you can actually pair up more cameras if you want to and just using only one monitor to watch them all 
and display mode. You can toggle and see what kind of display. Well, you need to have more than one camera in order to change camera pairing or camera mode. All right, so what's interesting is actually the videos. Now remember, this camera be able to insert SD cards. It has uh, ability to record. So you can actually set to video cycle recording where only motion detected or it just continue recording. Now once you have select whichever one you want, you click OK again, it will go in and you will see all the stuff that's being recorded. Now see my kid is moving around in the crib. Alright, so for the S5, it's under record mode. You have no record or when motion detected or continue to record. Now, you can't really see if there's any video that's been recorded, but you can always pull the video out from the SD card itself. Now for the S7, I also have the photo. The way that you're going to take photo is you have this zoom in button, you long press, you will hear a camera sound. So that means this picture has been taken. So you can actually go into camera setting, photos, and you can see the picture that's just been taken. Now as far as for S5, the button for you to take a photo is right here. There are more settings. Now night vision, this this has the night vision mode and time setting, that's when you can change the time, brightness and sleep mode. And also same with this S5. You also have the night vision. And also on auto. I sh I'll show you both in a little bit and what the videos they look like. All right, so my final thought about these two cameras, they are really good at what they do, especially when they are 2K. You get better resolution when you are looking at the video. Not only that, they both have box mode, which is really nice to have, especially when you are working and not paying attention to the monitor. When there is something going on on the other end, the monitor will lit up and make noise to indicate you need to pay attention to your kid now. Now, as far as for the main difference, I really like the S7. It has more features than the S5. And the only downside with S7 is the fact that S5 has a belt clipper on the back. It's really easy to transport or have it on you. S7 does not. And also for S7, you can actually rotate camera itself. But for S5, you have to manually set it up. So that's a little bit troublesome. So those are my takeaway about these two cameras. So if you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.